We are in Grayson, Oklahoma. I do have a few notes for this one, so. Looks like there's a pretty neat old mural over there we might go look at when we're done here. This is the community center. This whole area is a public park, so uh, there's no trespassing. I don't have to worry about that at all. I like um, the threat of trespassing, I guess I should say. Uh, this is the Grayson Elementary School. Grayson was originally known as Wildcat. Uh, the name changed in 1918 when uh, the county lines were changed and uh, Wildcat uh, was absorbed into Okmulgee County. And then it was changed to Grayson after a uh, Creek chief. Uh, his name was uh, George W. Grayson. This is one of 50 all black towns in Oklahoma. I've been to several. Uh, most of them uh, are pretty much ghost towns. <clears throat> the post office here was founded in uh, February of 1902 and closed in uh, April of 1929. At Statehood, which was in 1907, the town had 375 residents. It looks like it peaked at 411 around 1910. And it's just been slowly on a decline. I think right now they've got it at about 159. You gotta be careful, this right here is uh, directly in front of me, that's poison ivy. It looks like this spends uh, a little bit of time underwater. It's kind of got that look. So this would have been uh, a wood floor. You can kind of sort of see the wood beams where they would have come across for the rafters. You can see the ends. And these, of course, would have had windows all lined here. See these little things here? This is, uh, that's what your crawdads do. Whenever there's water, they'll send up this little, watch this. Sometimes when you move one of these, you'll see his, nope, he's closed it up. So what they do is they'll uh, dig down and follow the water table as it is absorbed into the ground. And then they create these little burrows. So this would have had a wood floor. So what I'm standing on here is part of the central foundation that would have helped support the floor. Looks like there are three entrances. You got one here, one over there, and one here. Morris is uh, just right up the road, and this uh, the town of Grayson is also not very far from uh, Henrietta, Oklahoma. This would have all been hand carved. I don't know how it worked out that I went and looked at two different schools today. That was, wasn't like my intention just to do schools, but that's the way it played out. Like somebody chiseled a name on the bottom of that. Could have been the manufacturer, I guess.
Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing fine. Oh. How can I help you, You're sir? You're doing a history tour? I had to cut off the video when uh, that truck approached. I assumed that it was going to be someone that would be rude. It actually turned out to be the uh, mayor of uh, Grayson. <laughs> uh, his name is James Leon Anderson and probably one of the friendliest people that I have met in the years that I've been doing this. And uh, they have a gumbo festival here later in the year and it's open to the public. So I strongly encourage anyone that watches my video to possibly come hit this place up. So he was telling me that this schoolhouse here, they can't get it on the Historical Society Register of uh, Historic Places, pardon me, uh, due to the fact they can't find any of the original photos of what it looked like intact. A lot of their records were destroyed over the years in fires and freak accidents. Uh, he did tell me that this playground equipment here to the right is original to the school. The school was built in the 20s and closed in 1967. The mayor himself, uh, Mr. Anderson, said that uh, uh, he graduated from this school in 1963. Uh, it was originally a elementary school and then ended up becoming a high school. There's supposed to be another structure just like this one about a mile west of here. Uh, he said you wouldn't be able to see it from the road during the summer due to overgrowth and it is on uh, private property So I will not attempt to find that but uh, the swings here are original uh, The teeter-totters are original and this slide here Which some of you that have <laughs> grown up in the older days uh, remember slides such as this burning your butt on the way down in summer although this one seems to be pretty well shaded uh, i had a an elderly person tell me one time that the best thing to do was get a piece of wax paper on one of these when it's hot and slide down on that uh, under your butt and you really gain some good speed they said uh, he did tell me that at one time there was another swing set exactly like this one but they put in this modern playground equipment and took it out. He also did tell me that uh, this mural over here is pretty old and he found some original pictures of it and they're gonna try and find someone to restore it. I mentioned an artist that I had met in uh, Luther but since he's left I recall that he, the, the artist I'm thinking of is actually in Wellington so I'll probably try to put the two in contact with one another. He said current census puts the population of this town at 150, although he said part of it does straddle the uh, county line. So there's another 200 residents on the other side of that that actually consider this place home. So it could be as many as 170 here, although your federal government won't recognize that. They'll just recognize the 150. There is a uh, two-cell jail here in the downtown area that we're going to go look at. And he informed me of that. He did say that unlike other towns, uh, other black towns here in Oklahoma, unfortunately most of the downtown structures were wood. And uh, very few of them have survived. So... But I'm going to drive through the downtown area and see what else we can find. 